Morning, everybody. I do not know why I look like this in the morning. I feel like I look extra red. We're going to Epcot. We were there last night, but we're meeting friends today. I want to show you this little sassy dog. I thought she was like really sad at first that we were leaving because I think she knows when we're like getting ready to go to the parks. So I thought she was sad, but now the faces that she's giving me, I think she's just like, we got up earlier on a Sunday than she's used to. And I think it was like a, the look that she was giving me was like a, can you please leave so I can go back to sleep look. Look at that face, that face is screaming. Get out, leave me alone. Eve. What are you doing? You go back to sleep? See? See? She's like, just leave, please. Okay. 8.39. We're trying to get to Epcot, and we left a little later than we were supposed to. It's fine. It's okay. It's all right. But we don't live that far, so no, we're still being hopeful. It's 8.40 a.m. We'll let you know when we get there. Okay, Peter, so we're here. What time is it? 9.05. 9.05. Did I think we were gonna go on Frozen today? No. Am I happy we did? Yes. It said a 40 minute wait and it was maybe 30 minutes. But I haven't been to Epcot at a park open in a long time. I forgot that they actually rope off. So that is the China Pavilion and it's roped off. For guests, you can go all the way up to Norway to go on the Frozen ride. But after that, it's roped off till 11 a.m. But we're here with our friends Megan and Katie and her friends from Swish and Flick. We'll put their information down below. They're here yeah. to celebrate some uh, Harry Potter love going on yesterday. Oh yeah. Me and Megan worked in Frontierland together, so. What, what was that event called? It was, it was MuggleNet Live. Okay, so MuggleNet Live was yesterday at Universal, which they were at. Friday. 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 And now they're enjoying some Disney magic. So we'll put their information down below to check out their stuff. Thanks. And they're going to be DEC members soon. So of course, we're going to go get... Show them the ropes. We're going to show them the ropes and get my like 18 and a half coffee. <laughs> Slowly chipping away that loan for DEC. <laughs> Sarah are kind of walking around looking at the merchandise and I wanted to show you something that since we kind of rushed through the festival center last time I wanted to tell you guys about something they offer here which is kind of cool um, you'd have to really be a foodie I think and really be into cooking or wine or drinks to uh, I feel like to take away time from your vacation but they do have offer these really cool seminars so like this is today's chef showcase stage and the menu for today different time slots for different chefs going over just how Disney chefs cook certain menus and from certain kitchens and they all range from $129 to 1717. Those are for like the, the chefs of the world. And if you're more just like a, a, a drink connoisseur, a wine connoisseur, they've got the same thing, but just for different kinds of wines, mixologists combine everything. And these usually range for like 45 minutes to an hour and a half, two, three times a day. Um, you can do a more luxurious setup like you saw that one chef was $129 or if most of them are on the $17 range and they're open to anybody You don't have to be an annual pass or DVC or anything just Somebody with a good strong palate and wanting to learn a little bit more about what Disney does or what uh, people involved with Disney are showcasing. He got his beer flight. We have the MIA Beer Company Golden Ale, the Play Linda Brewing Company Blonde Ale, and the Florida Beer Company Passport Triple Chocolate Stuff. Nine bucks. What'd you got there? It's just Sprite with boba pearls. But it's like there's a There's a blinky light in there. Yeah, I think it's the glass. Ooh. She's gonna keep that forever. Yeah. Ooh, it looks kind of creepy, but that looks like swamp water. Ooh, keep it on. How much was it? Four fifty. We love the, the lamb so much that Megan had to get it. No, Megan told us to get the lamb. Oh. Okay, so Megan Megan started the trend. 
But we forgot to do, Sarah's doing the Odyssey Center sticker because we got the, the beer flight. I'm like really bad this at putting very cooked. And Sarah, or we forgot to put on the... Morocco. The Morocco sticker last night. It's shame on us. We gotta stop spending money. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's food and wine. I didn't realize we were going like a big food and wine day. It's our first thing. Well, we got the beers. But Sarah's the cheese, cheese kind of sore, so she's gonna let you know how this is. So good. What kind of flavor is it? Is it beer cheese? It is? It's what we made. It's the recipe that we made. Oh, yeah. We'll put a video link over here. I don't know what it is. I think it's over here. It's totally over here, right where Sarah's forehead is, right there. I remember that they had them all here. But then that you hate? It's not dope. So here is the delicious Via Napoli. You need to go there if you're here for a traditional Disney World vacation with dining plan. It is amazing. If not, go to the window. It's great and quick. All the good stuff. I don't even know. I think it was 9.50, I think. But this is the pizza bianca. Chop it in half. How? Just rip it. <laughs> it's pretty big. She's doing this very elegantly like a princess. Oh, yes. Okay. Fast forward like four or five hours later, I played with Evil Eye. Sarah got the vlog up, and our cousins landed and checked into All Star Music. So we're here. I don't think they know that we're. I don't think the little ones know that we're we're coming here right now. They know obviously that we live here, but and they know they're gonna see us. But I don't think they know that we're here right now. And it's supposed to be at the pool. So. We'll see if we can find them we'll without asking my cousin where they are. Yeah. So, I have a hat. A couple of fast forwards today. So, thank you for bearing with us. But here's the pool at All Star Music. It's in the shape of a giant guitar. And it's a lot of I didn't fun. I noticed that. Yeah. And the one, there's a, there's a smaller pool behind it that's in the shape of a piano. I have a hat in the car, so don't worry about this, everybody. I'll grab that. But we are with our cousins who just checked in today. They're going to Magic Kingdom tomorrow. They're meeting at Disney Springs. So, that's where we are heading now. And they got a family suite because apparently they said that if you're staying at like the All-Stars and you say you have five people with you, they automatically put you in a suite. But the family suites are huge. Yeah. I didn't know they were it's a like thing. one king, two bathrooms, little kitchen area. It's like a one king bedroom. Yeah. Then there's two bathrooms, a living area with a pull-out couch that was probably a double. And then it, there was like a seat, a big seat that pulls, a, pulls out to a single with a footrest that also had a single out of that. So, a lot of space. So it's four beds in one like hotel unit. Yeah, it was great. Really nice. And we did talk to our cousins about having the kids in the vlog, so. Well, you'll get to see them little crazy them. characters. Yeah. So we're excited to, to be with them and have a little taste of home. Yeah. Well, we just got to, to Disney Springs, and it's funny because old habits die hard. And we call this place downtown Disney. We're getting very good at calling it Disney Springs. But Sarah's cousin, who hasn't been here since 2006, when my parents got their vows renewed, they keep calling it downtown or downtown Disney well, or downtown. Well, Aaron watches this. Yeah. So it's going to be hard, Aaron, when we start calling it downtown Disney again, to start calling it Disney Springs like we're supposed to. So when you're watching this, when you get home from your vacation, just know you left lasting effects on us. It's a restaurant that stays on water. Are you recording? See? I am.
currently 11.30 at night. Target closes in 30 minutes and we're here because we're being those people. But look at this BB-8. And that BB-9 or whatever, the dark side one. I don't know, I'm sorry for all you Star Wars fans that are like super hardcore. It's cold in this here, Target. But I don't know all the names, but we need breakfast supplies. Okay, we need bread, eggs, bacon, and coffee. If everyone splits up, it'll take us about three minutes. Ready, set, go. We got that pumpkin spice coffee ground. Yeah, pumpkin spice pumpkin, spice pumpkin grounds. Okay, what else? Do you got bacon? Yeah. Donuts. We need it. bread and we need bread and bread and bread and eggs. Sarah's, okay, really? Sarah's talking to her mom. This is crucial holiday weekend. Our cousins are going to Cinderella's royal table in the morning. I'm gonna make breakfast for me and Sarah in the morning. Any? We couldn't tell our, our dog missed us. This is why we get sad sometimes leaving to go to the parks. She's so sweet. But she has to get medicine and it is almost midnight and we're tired. We got up early. Yeah. So long. We were, it was park open and park closed. It really was kind of because, oh, well, not really. Long. But we park opened and then came home, took a break, took the dog, do some stuff, vlog. Then we were at uh, All Star Music, swimming, and then downtown Disney or Disney Springs. See, there it is again. Disney Springs walking around, but we're gonna get the dog ready with her medicine and go to sleep and uh, enjoy our, our Labor Day. So yeah, we just bought stuff for breakfast. If you're watching this on the day it posts, happy Labor Day, enjoy it if you get the day off. I know not everybody does. I've been through that spot where you don't. <laughs> and with that, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a, leave a comment down below about what you're most excited for the fall because I just found out that pumpkin spice lattes are being served and no one told me until today. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Good to be to. home. It's good to be home. With our puppies. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.